Welcome to Fresh. My name is Ruben Milner and this is my dad, Jared Rawuri. On TV, I'm actually like 10 years younger and old enough to be his brother. And we're bringing you your weekly fix of freshness from my whare. So, here's what's coming up on the show. Here's a tip. When you come to my house, if I don't know you, maybe hang out for at least an hour before you ask for my Wi-Fi password. So I was, uh, I was 18, bro. Fresh out of high school. Started as four episodes. Yeah. Ended up being my fourth year now. Up on the left foot. Yeah. It means she's got six toes on her right foot. No. It oh. means she's just about to get married, but she's got cold feet. <laughs> <laughs> Hey bro, are you old enough to know what WWF is? Uh, the World Wildlife Foundation? Bro, no. No, a pile drive to the face. Wrestling. Oh, you mean WWE? Like, like, like Brock Lesnar and The Rock? Ah, can you smell it a little, little? Yeah. Well, did you know that here in Aotearoa we've got our own pro wrestling company? Yeah, I know that. Impact Pro Wrestling. Yeah, they had a massive event not they so did. long ago. Yeah. So let's see how fresh it was. What up, Fresh? This is Liger, and welcome to the IPW Eliminator. Keep it fresh! The IPW Eliminator is one of our biggest events, so we're expecting a raucous crowd ready to bring the noise and bring the energy to watch me eliminate 19 other people. There's only one the name you need to remember, and that's Kingy. Keep it fresh. What can they expect? Well, tonight, Vinny Dunn is versus Liam Fury in the main event. Tables, lighters, and chairs. It'll be brutal. You watch me climb that ladder. You watch me throw him through those tables, and you watch me whack him with those chairs. You're looking at the next New Zealand heavyweight champion, Te Tahi, Vinny Dunn. It's, it's a whole different world, uh, professional wrestling. I've played a lot of sports and professional wrestling um, has got to be the most difficult training I've ever I've been through, so yeah. I'm Josh Confell, otherwise known as The Crusher. I haven't had a lot of practice. I'm pretty naked and pretty raw, but bring the guns, show them some, uh, some white fresh. You know, I'm some pass I'm on it. My name is uh, Jamie Sill, AKA Mr. Tsang Taisi. This guy right here, Liger. Strong style Samoan from the mean streets of Mangere. Ain't nothing fresher than that. The freshest thing about this event is the variety of cultures such as myself, the Maro Māori Warrior, Liger, Candy Lee, Erotoi Te Porofiti Mamo, keep it fresh. I'd say 50-50, cos um, theatre would be nothing without the physical side, and the physical side would be nothing without the theatre side. You gotta be a creative character, you gotta be on both sides. So professional wrestling is such a great entertainment um, industry that I don't mind playing heel or face, but if anything, I'd rather play the face because I'm much more of a people's person than a villain, so... We basically put our bodies on the line for pure entertainment. It's physical, it's definitely physical. If anyone decides to call this fake, I invite you to come in the ring and try it out for yourself. Bro, Josh the Crusher Cromfeld. Man, back in the day he was a beast and now he's still a machine. Yeah, 
A big shout out to all the athletes and the staff at IPW. Man, I like the way you guys move. Mm. Well, if you like that segment, check out this next athlete, and she's a mean ass gymnast. She's fresh out the box. My name is Ariana Salival. I am 13, and my nationality is Samoan and New Zealand European. And this is why I'm fresh out of the box. <laughs> I started gymnastics because I saw a girl flipping when I was doing athletics and I just used to copy her and then I enjoyed it so I just begged my parents to go to gym. I've won New Zealand national medals and I went to Australia nationals and won a gold medal. My parents have really supported me through this sport. She trains really hard. She's here for 22 hours a week, so she's definitely working towards Olympics or Commonwealth. I go to school, come back, and then they drop me to the gym. Then my mum goes do her night jobs, and then she comes back and picks me up. Most 13 year old kids probably like play around. <laughs> I ain't got time for that. <laughs> at her particular level at this time, she would be the only Pacific Islander. A lot of that I think is down to the cost of the sport. Her fees per term are about a thousand dollars. So the cost just build up. A lot of fundraising. <laughs> I think gymnastics is a really good sport for young girls because it helps with fitness, strength and flexibility. And scissor kicks. <laughs> I am Ariana Salival and that's why I'm fresh out of the box. <laughs> Time for a snack break, freshies. See you soon after the break. Hey, hey, you need some fruit and some vegetables. Mmm, nice. Yum. Yum. Lines are a big thing at work because you know that every single day you've got a new line to learn. Oh, Africa. Wait, what? <laughs> Australia. Oh, Aboriginal uh, Australia? Wa Kanda, Wakanda. Man, I hate those bridges. Why? Because I feel so unsafe. She'd never walk over. That's why I only Wakanda. Kia ora freshies and welcome back to Fresh. He's Gerald Awari. And he's Ruben Milner. And, and this, this is, is our world. world. Hey, hey, get your apples. How you like them apples? Okay. Yeah. I love you too. But no, remember what Dion said. Ignore the haters. Okay, yeah. So, how old were you when you jumped on Sean Street? So I was, uh, I was 18, bro. Fresh out of high school. Started as four episodes. Yeah. Ended up being my fourth year now. Shorty Street fans out there, they have no idea who Ruben Milner is. Mm. Maybe you could tell us something that they don't know from the show. Oh, bro, so one of my very favorite hobbies to do is diving, so scuba diving. I've got my dive license, and I love going out there and getting some kind of water. Obviously, the legal amount of kind of <laughs> My hobbies um, have two legs, and there's uh, four of them. <laughs> my kids take up most of my time, which is all good because, I man, I'm really stoked to be a dad. I'm a sports buff. I love the NBA. I have Stephen Adams all day, but uh, yeah. yeah, there's a couple of things that I'm into. OK, so I'm going to hit you with a couple of cookfire questions. OK, Kay, here you go. Favourite Shorty Street character, uh, other than Mo? Ah, uh, it just depends on, I think it's just got to have to be Chris Warner, man, he's just the best. What's up, bro? He's the man, he's been there for, what, 26 years, 26 bro? 26 years. He's on fire. Favourite Shorty Street character, past or present? Demo, I've got a soft spot for Demo, man. Demo, man, yeah, he's, bro, he's funny, funny, man. Yeah, oh, just... bro, he's so fun. What funny. is it about Demo, is, that just, is he funny? He gets serious lines, straight lines, 
and the way he delivers it is just so hilarious. Comedic, eh? It's just like, he's just, uh, yeah, it's genius. Sorry, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, bro. You know, me, me and Paul, we're room, roomies. Pretty much our downtime consists of, you think learning lines, but it's actually, we do tra train, yeah. train at, at work. I hear that. Yes, yes, you hear us grunting yeah. and making crazy weird noises. Right. What do you uh, do in your downtime when you're when you're at work? Uh, lines are a big thing at work because you know that's every single day you've got a new line to know. So partly that, partly eating, also getting food and having a lunch. It's true. These yeah. guys, are, I don't know where it goes. Look at me. The most annoying person to work with. <laughs> yeah. Suki Baba. Luke Patrick. <laughs> I knew you were going to say him. <laughs> yeah, man, no, 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 well, you know, here and there, you know. But... <laughs> Who is the most annoyingest cast member? Yeah, I don't know if you know this guy, but his name's Luke. Um... Oh. <laughs> oh, well, that was cool, man. Yeah, man. It was great Good to talk. hear a little bit about um, your world and share a little bit with my world. Um, but you know, time's up, so uh, yeah, I'm just looking no. at my watch and I think you better get onto those lawns. What? Come lawns? On. Yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta do the lawn, son, and the world washing needs to be folded. Wow. Yep, okay, I'm just gonna. Where's that remote? I'm just gonna watch a bit of TV. Come on. Right, time for another break, team. But make sure you come back for some more freshness. Everything's stew, darling. Even the Wi-Fi password, I changed it on the hour. What if I did like half of them? And then I can... I'll... You only get half the password. Get down, man. Get down, get down. Get down, get down. Get down, get down. Get down, get down. On a coding crazy gaggle moon, and a little baby born was child in a kettle. In a kettle. In a kettle. What about Jack? What have I done? Hey, welcome back, Ngati Fresh. You're kicking it with me, Joe Rowdy, and my homeboy here, Ruben Milner, and we are part of the Ferndale Massive. Yeah, what up? Hey, you using my Wi-Fi? Oh, yeah, bro, I got no data. Bro, how did you even suss the password? It's on the back of the modem. Oh, is that where it is? <sighs> bro, you've got much to learn. I actually know two wahine that can help you out there, bro. Oh, this is fresh tips. I'm she. And I am Miss Key, the native diva. And today we are giving you the Wi Fi, Wi -Fi tips. tips. Here's a tip when you come to my house, if I don't know you, maybe hang out for at least an hour before you ask for my Wi Fi password. Yes, good tip, girl. <laughs> Meanwhile, I've got cousins who are, well, you've been over home and you've already had the password, eh? You're on the Wi Fi. And you know how that automatic stuff goes. Both lines, park up on the road, taking my Wi Fi, even though I'm limited, eh? Bye bye. Not cool. Not cool. It's rude. That's the tip. Watch out for the cousins. You've got to have a password that's got a, a capital letter. Yeah. That's got all lowercase after that. You've got to have numbers in it. It's got to be about eight characters. Yes. Hey. You've got to get creative. So maybe. Me here, Manu, Oh, I know. Choose mm. something no one's going to. Tauranga Whakatani. Two one seven. That's a good one, that's a good one. Yeah, you gotta get some typing on. These kids know what's up. Here's one for the parents. You wanna give your kids Wi-Fi? Change that password, like, on a regular when you want things done. The dishes, the laundry, it's homework. It. I mean, it's like my son, hey, mum, hook us up. It's the password, it's the password. No, the password is hashtag, you don't know the password. <laughs> this, is, this is what you do. Hey, mum. Um, I have this exam that I need to do. Would I be able to grab the Wi-Fi password? It was at this moment she knew she messed up. Yeah. Oh, 
when you've done the dishes, when you've mowed the lawn, when you've gone and checked on the dog. Oh, like, it's, it's like really due. Everything's due, darling. Even the Wi-Fi password, I change it on the hour. What if I did like half of them? And then I can... I'll... You only get half the password. So a quick recap on our tips today. Wi-Fi, watch your password. Change it from Wi-Fi to 5Y. <laughs> hey, use a lyric. Get some words in there. Go Māori, Mehe Manu Dede 101. Hey, they won't get it then. Change your password when Fano come over. You know what's up. Here's the Wi-Fi password. Do the dishes, do the laundry, do your homework. Don't be a dick. I love your tips, my girl. Those are the tips I need for my children, my nieces and my nephews. Hika, my uncle, we know your tricks. We know what you like. Hey, cousins. Hey, how's your Wi-Fi? I'm gonna need some of those tips for when you come over next time, won't I? Yeah, well, see, never too old to learn, eh? Mm. Speaking of learning, Jared and I recently had the chance to test our knowledge on everything fresh and hoary. That's right, on our new favorite game show featuring these two fellas. Hey, everybody, welcome back to Fresh TV, your favorite game show. How fresh are you? That's right, this is where you're going to see our studio contestants, see how fresh they are and how fear palaki they are. So, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, my honor and privilege to introduce to you my two favorite actors right over here. <laughs> We've got Rupert and Jared from Shotland Street. Hey! 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 Yes. So, what's the name, what's the name of your team? Uh, the name of our team is the Ferndale Māoris. Quite yeah. a mouthful. Yeah. Yeah. There you Quite have a mouthful, ladies and gentlemen, the Ferndale Māoris. On our right side, we've got our, the former Shortland Street. We've got Joe Wheeler and also Shimpao Blitz. Give him a big hand. Oh, All right. Yes. Yeah. So what's the name of your team? Uh, we, are, we are Uncle Sam's number one winners All winning right. team. OK. First game, we're going to play a rapid fire. I'm going to ask questions. First, you press the butter. And you get the, you know the butter? <laughs> First the butter. you press the butter. <laughs> and our first question for today, the quickest to get on the bus are, in Samoa, when a girl wears a flower on the left side, what does that mean? Ooh, we'll go with you, Sim. Single. On the left side? Married. Can I consult my partner? Married. Singly married? Married on the left, single on the right? No. <laughs> you know, man, what about you guys? If she's not married on the left, what does it mean? If she wears on the left, what does that mean? Must be single. No. no. If she wears on the left, it's because she likes the left side. <laughs> <laughs> now, our next question. <laughs> if a someone girls wear one sock on the right foot, what does that mean? <laughs> um, <laughs> She's um, playing around. Uh, close. One sock on the right foot and yep. no sock on the left foot. Yeah. It means she's got six toes on her right foot. No. It means she's just about to get married, but she's got cold feet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's what <funny>. it. <laughs> this one here, you should know. Hope so. In the traditional New Wayne calendar, how many days are there in the year? As a new Wayne, a proud new Wayne, and with new Wayne tattooed on your back, <laughs> how many days in a traditional new Wayne calendar? Yes? 365? That's right. <laughs> new Wayne calendar is the same as everyone else's calendar. <laughs> the same thing. He was talk to me. <laughs> I think it's quite a shame that uh, Tangata Fenua knows about the new Wayne calendar. Yeah. Threw me with the traditional, because yeah. in the traditional, we have like only seven days in the whole year. What does the initials MMT for the Tongan Rugby League stand for? Uh, mate Mata Tonga. Uh, yes, and what does that mean in English? Die for Tonga. Yeah, yeah. Hey. here we go. Nice. And for our bonus, bonus, bonus point, who was the captain of the Mate Mata Tonga last year? Manu, Sika Manu. Oh. oh, that's it, yes. All right, now my favorite part of our game, which is Don't Tell Me. Chance me, that's right. But our team that's gonna start first is Tewila and Shipao. Only one minute, and your time starts now. Follow, 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 follow. Oh, sorry. Chance me, man. No Chance me. <laughs> well, tap dances. 
Is this it? New way. Oh, oh, wow, wow. too good. I thought there was an American college football team. Uh, 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 <laughs> Irish dancing? Scottish, Highland dancing. Russian, Russian, Russian dancing. Russia, Russia. Uh, Hawaii? Rabbit Tonga. Oh, Tonga. Uh, not New Way? Uh, Fiji. Oh, hey. wow. Let's give it up for these guys. You guys were awesome. Great dance. Great dance. Wow, wow. Simbel, what a great great dancing. Wow. Okay, now we're gonna head over to Shonen Street and this guys, you're gonna see more than just acting. Good luck, Leroy. Time starts now. Next one. Oh, Africa. Mm. Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> Where is that? Australia. Oh, original Australia? Solomon Islands. Mm. Uh... <laughs> oh. Rapa Nui. Oh. Just, oh, New Zealand. No, no, no. no, no. Alaska. <laughs> Here we go, you get in there. Oh, uh, someone. Yeah! Samoa, Samoa. Oh, country going now. <laughs> the uh, Tonga? Uh, the Chala from oh, Wakanda. Um, Australia. Oh, yeah, yeah <laughs> all right. Wow, what a, what an incredible game, what an ending. Oh, that was so intense, eh? So intense. Yeah. Chill. Wow. Yeah. Chill. Chill. Real. Mm. Look really good. There's 511 to 509. Congratulations, we're here. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. What do you think let you down? The worry because you guys lost. <laughs> yeah, here we, go. we want to, you know, every time everyone comes to our house, we have a special gift for them. It's a uh, leaf for you. Beautiful camera. Yep. Oh, thank you. Well done, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. there you have it, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Great to have these guys here, but we hope to see you next time on How Fresh Are You? Yeah. All right! Yeah. Wow. And that's how fresh we are. So fresh that we got to host a whole episode of Fresh. Yeah, so thanks for having us. It's time for you guys to cruise now, though, because you've cleaned up my fridge. Yeah, and uh, here's what's coming up next week. Peace. I did it. You two, Rubes, you got to go. Oh, uh, can I get a ride with you guys? It's all for Freshies. Next week on Fresh, you'll be kicking it in Cali with me, Cesar Gray. Keep it fresh. Cheers.